What's the difference between Tai Chi and Qigong? I often get asked this question. So let's explore a little bit both the differences and the similarities of these practices. Historically, Qigong is about 5,000 years old. It's an ancient practice coming from Chinese medicine. Qi means life force energy. It's your aliveness. And Gong means to work with or to develop a skill at working with that life force energy. Now, Qigong was broken down into three distinct styles. One was medical Qigong, how to work with energy for health, wellness, and vitality. The other was spiritual Qigong, how to feel that connection to the divine. Maybe meditation practices, the energy of consciousness and the mind and spirit. And the third was martial arts style of Qigong. How do you work with energy to develop a powerful body? Now, Tai Chi falls into that third branch of martial arts style of Qigong practice. So we can say that Qigong was the mother of Tai Chi. It gave birth to Tai Chi practice. And Tai Chi is a very specific practice for martial application. But both of these practices have unique and similar principles. For example, both practices move from the center. Both practices are water-like. They're internal arts. They both cultivate energy. Now, the intention of both practices is to develop and cultivate that energy for health and vitality and internal power. And then Tai Chi, what it does is it moves into a martial expression. For example, Tai Chi, every movement in Tai Chi is going to have a martial application, a block and a strike. And one movement in the Tai Chi form will then go into another movement. So in Tai Chi, you have to learn a whole sequence of movements, 108 style or a 64 movement style. Now there's three or four distinct styles in Tai Chi. Maybe there's a few more and there's 3000 styles of Qigong. So there's a lot of different styles. So Tai Chi would be considered a one particular style of Qigong practice, the martial style. Now it originated from Chen family. That's the story and the history of Tai Chi. About 800 years ago, Chen family practitioners were doing Chen style Tai Chi. And they had a servant, as the story goes, named Yang. And Yang would spy and watch and take notes and practice what he was witnessing in the Chen family. So Master Chen was teaching his sons, but the servant Yang was practicing and he practiced very strongly and developed a high skill at the Tai Chi martial arts practice. And then Master Yang took it to his family. So now we have Yang style and Chen style, some varieties of movements. <clears throat> a lot of them are similar, but there's some distinct styles. Now, Tai Chi became very popularized because in that Yang family lineage, the martial arts practitioners became very good and they would challenge martial arts schools around the country until they became very famous for their martial skill. And the Chinese emperor and the royal guard learned a short style of Yang family tradition Tai Chi and it became popularized. Now, Mainly, we practice Tai Chi for the same reasons we practice Qigong. We practice for health, energy cultivation, for stress manage it, management, and for feeling that deep connection to our internal energy and power. Now, what I recommend is that you practice Qigong first because it's simpler. It's more accessible. You learn how to move your energy. You learn about these principles. How do I move with relaxation? How do I move with water-like softness? And then we can start to move those same principles into a Tai Chi form because a Tai Chi form, you're going to have to memorize different sequences of movements because one movement will go right into the next. Whereas in Qigong, one movement flows in a rhythmic pattern and repeats itself as a moving meditation and it becomes easier to practice. So for example, this movement here, parting the horse's mane will repeat itself over and over in a Qigong practice, where in Tai Chi, that movement, you do it in a walking set where you're going to be moving the energy into a form, which makes it harder to memorize. So for me, after 30 years of practice, what I like to do is I like to first learn Qigong, learn all the principles. And then I like to teach people Tai Chi afterwards as those applications of those principles. Well, if you're interested in learning about your own life force energy, how to transform stress into vitality, how to use energy to cultivate health, 
well-being, longevity, as this practice was designed, we have an offer for you. We have a free two-week trial. That means you're going to get about 10 classes to try it for yourself. In these 10 classes, you will feel your life force energy. It's a different experience. You'll feel energy moving in your body. And that aliveness feels wonderful. It's empowering. It's empowering to you to take charge of your own health and vitality. So if you want to try, please click the button below, enter your name and your email address, and you will get free two-week trial of this weekly subscription. And from there, sometimes we do a little bit of Tai Chi, but it's a great foundation to then branch off into a Tai Chi practice. Also, if you like the information that you're getting in this YouTube channel, click the subscribe button. We'll have a lot more content just like this. And if you want to get notified, click the little bell and we will send you out more content just like this. Hey, thanks so much and we'll see you in the next video.